first AI-made animated show is already here and taking over Twitch. It's time for the latest news out of animation. Mismatch Media has launched the first ever round of fully AI-made programming on Twitch. Dubbed Nothing Forever, it purports to be a perpetually running sitcom that works purely via AI algorithm. According to the creators, everything except the art assets and laugh track is entirely AI generated. The result is bizarre and primarily seems to be a recreation of the 90s sitcom Seinfeld. Even the title alludes to that, with a commonly shared fan remark being that Seinfeld was a show about nothing. Thus, AI will continue this show about nothing forever. Confoundingly, however, the creators claim that Nothing Forever is not using Seinfeld to write its scripts. They instead point towards OpenAI's GPT-3 model, which uses the whole internet as their primary source for dialogue. That's only a partial denial, however. Even if GPT-3 is writing the lines, that doesn't make it responsible for animation, shot composition, or timing. Those things are handled separately, and it seems plausible that AI is running directly off Seinfeld scripts. This AI director then feeds tags for specific lines into GPT-3 and strings them together into a scene. The resulting show is mostly generating mockery, especially with Twitch streamers and YouTubers. Nothing Forever as presented is rough, with broken animation and nonsense jokes, but people are enjoying it. The AI even ended up joking about its own creation. Streamer XQC was so taken by it that he paid a thousand dollars to secure a cameo. Still, Mismatch Media has ambitions far beyond reaction compilations. Co-creator Skylar Hartle claimed to PC Gamer that we're strong believers that these forms of generative media are the future and our bar is to produce a show that is just as strong or stronger as any terrestrial media airing right now in the future. And as ludicrous as that sounds, he's got a point. Nothing Forever is drawing attention. It proves AI shows taking from existing programming and repackaging it can sell. Consumers will overlook morally bankrupt practices if the end result makes them laugh. And other corporations are trying hard to capitalize on this apathy. Netflix has also debuted its own efforts in AI animation. Their Japan office has put out a three-minute animated short entitled Dog and Boy. At a glance, this is a charming little movie with a classical Ghibli feel to it, but the announcement comes with a sinister catch. As an experimental effort to help the anime industry, which has a labor shortage, we used image generation technology for the background images for all three-minute video cuts. All of those beautiful scenic backgrounds? Each one was AI generated thanks to technology firm Rina Incorporated. Netflix's spin is transparent. Those labor shortages are due to crippling bad conditions in the anime industry. In between artists make less than $2 per frame, adding up to about 10 k per year. For contrast, the lowest level yearly salary for a McDonald's employee in the US is 18 k Layout artists and paint staff, the people who handle backgrounds, get more, but they're still close to 20 k Instead of trying to ensure these people are paid more to help create the shows we love, Netflix is having a computer do the work for them. The credits of Dog and Boy literally put the AI above the artists who helped touch up this glorified tech demo. Even Netflix's tweet places Rina Inc. above Wit Studio, the actual animators of the shorts. Thankfully, people are reacting appropriately, tearing Netflix apart for this misbehavior. But Dog and Boy is still a bleak omen for those who care about animators. <sighs> we could all use a break. Wanna watch Goku fight Morikai from the regular show?